everyone welcome back um in this video i'm going to show you let's say uh, somebody actually want to register so they can register you know easily with any you know random email right uh, any dummy email so we'll actually add the email verification system here so that uh, people can actually uh, register through a you know authentic uh, i mean register through an authentic email right so here you can see these are random right if you think about it so if somebody uh, you know uh, order through uh, a random gmail so it will be actually spammy right so let's add here email authentication or verification so to do this what you have to do you have to actually go to the code editor here and then go for the dot env and here at first you have to set uh, you know change here something here you can see mail so if you search here mail you will find something like this here you can see mail mailer so you have to set here smtp whatever you have you just have to change it to smtp okay then uh, in the main host you have to change it to smtp.gmail.com and then you have to use here mail port and the mail port is 465 remember okay you just have to copy it and then username so username uh, should be an uh, should be a gmail uh, uh, i mean account uh, or gmail id here you can see i am at tanvi.edu at the gmail.com so this is an authentication uh, i mean authenticated uh, you know gmail so this is uh, authentic uh, authentic gmail right and then password so where you will actually get the password so this password is not uh, i mean i have uh, the password for this you know email this is randomly generated password password uh, so i will actually explain you how you can actually get all those password and then mail from address will be your uh, email where you actually want to send the mail right okay that's it and here how we get the password so here you can see this is my gmail right so we have to actually go uh, uh, through this gmail account this is my gmail account so i have to actually uh, go there okay and here uh, i have to search for uh, here let's say gmail then if i search here slash app password you will find here this option second option so just click here and here you can see app password so here you can actually create any app name let's say uh, I will say here, let's say test app uh, password. Okay, password. So this is my app name. And if I create it, and then we will actually get a password. I mean, we'll, and then we'll actually get a password here. You can see, just copy it, done. So don't delete it. Just uh, go to the code editor, and here you have to change it. So let me remove the spaces. I mean, all the space. And done. Now our .env configuration is done. Now what I have to do, we have to actually go for the uh, user model. Why? Because uh, we have here, uh, you know, uh, user model for user related things, right? For Gmail and everything. I mean, for registration, uh, I mean, register an user. So we have to go for the app, then models. And we have a model here. You can see user model, right? So this is the user model. And here you can see we have comment out here. Uh, I mean, here we have a, a link, right? And it's comment out so what i have to do you have to actually just remove it uh this to slash and now here here we have to say implements implements and then we just have to mention must verify email so done now let's go here uh if i refresh now let's i want to log in as milan and if I say random Gmail, I have to actually verify the email at first. Okay. If I say register, okay. Here you can see when I, uh, so I can actually register it, right? But the problem is when I want to actually access the, you know, dashboard, here you can see recent verification email. So thanks for signing up. Uh, before getting started, could you verify your email address? So we have to actually uh, verify our email at first right so but we haven't uh, i mean we have uh, we haven't the email right because this is a dumb email so now here you can see uh, every single time now if i go to the dashboard here you can see the uh, email we haven't actually verified we have to verify it so now uh, we'll actually go to the you know our gmail if i go to the gmail here we have to let's say i want to resend verification email a new verification link has been sent to the email address you provided okay so let's go check refresh 
here you can see verify email address so if i click on verify email address now here you can see uh, current i can log in right if i want to see my orders now i can actually see my order log out done and now let's say i want to sign up once again as milon let's say and if i go to the database maybe we have milon right because we have already signed i mean let me refresh here let me check that we have already register milon or not yes we have right but here you can see uh, there is no email verification so now let's check that uh, if i can actually order uh, any item or not so i'll go there and let's say i want to uh, order this item uh, as milon okay so i'll go add to cart here and now let's say i want to log in as milon so i'll say milon at gmail.com password let's say okay uh, 81 then log in and here you can see i cannot actually order it if i refresh here uh, in the order table here you can see there is no such an order uh, actually with this id right with user id here you can see if i go to the user table so we have user id 3 and there is no such an id uh, i mean order so we have to actually uh, i mean verify the email at first right if we want to give any order so we cannot actually give a random gmail or email we have to verify our email at first. So guys, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.